And of all planets, it's Mars, which has the thinnest atmosphere, just 1% of Earth. And it's a very unique engineering design with its uh, four-foot diameter blades, counter-rotating blades, its little solar panel on top, and a fuselage that's filled with all kinds of electronics, everything from advanced items to off-the-shelf items, all carefully tailored and screened for use on Mars. It's a very unique aircraft that is capable of that kind of flight with the blade spinning at 40 RPM, uh, 40, sorry, 40 times a second, and really being able to take off in that thin air of Mars. We began to realize that we might just have a really great uh, airfield right in front of our noses. In fact, we have a satellite uh, image, if we can pull that up, that shows where the rover landed, as well as the flight zone and the airfield. And you can see it's just right north of where we landed. So what you're looking at there is in fact the first airfield on another planet. Now the flight itself will consist of a takeoff and then a climb to an altitude of three meters. Uh, and then we will hover in place uh, for about 30 seconds and make a turn with the helicopter while we're hovering and then come down and land again. And we have an engineering simulation uh, here that shows what that flight might look like above the airfield that we have just chosen. <laughs>